A lot of times when we're searching for scholarly articles, we use databases like Academic Search Complete or ProQuest Central to search with keywords that better define our topic. Browsing is a tool that helps you search differently, not by keywords, but rather by discipline or journal title. To access Browsine, you'll want to start at the library's homepage, rwu.edu library. Then you'll want to look under the search box for the database A to Z list. If we click on that, we'll next navigate to B for Browsine and scroll down until we see it. You might be asking yourself, why would I want to search this way versus keyword searching? Well, browsing lets you directly browse different articles in a particular journal issue, which can be extremely helpful if you find an article elsewhere that directly relates to your narrowed area of research. Let me show you how you can search in browsing. So either by journal title or subject. So we don't want to put keywords into this search box. So if my subject or discipline or my area of studies or my major sometimes it's helpful to think of it that way. Say I was studying education and I needed to find scholarly articles in education journals. I type in education and you can see it's color coded over here by red and blue. Red signifies all the journals that we have in education. You can scroll to look at the entire list, which is probably very long. Um, or you could look at the sub listings, the sub disciplines. So maybe I was interested in early childhood education. If I click that, it would limit the journals to only those journals focusing on early childhood education. If I go back, I can also search by journal title. So maybe my faculty member has said, you know what, you should check out X journal. So let's just say that journal was the International Journal of Educational Research. And when I type that in, you can see it pops up as a blue, which is great. That means it's an actual journal and it's going to open up to the most recently published issue. If I needed to access back issues, I could simply just click on the year and the volume number. And this, even though this is electronic, this is like holding the issue, the journal issue in your hand. So sometimes it's easier to think about it in terms of like a magazine. So like if you were holding Time Magazine, this would, these would be all of the articles that were published in that issue of Time Magazine. Okay, right now we're looking at scholarly, but sometimes it's easier to conceptualize it that way. So this is, if I wanna go back to, um, let's see, let's get back to the most recently published issue, which happens to be volume 103. If I click on any article, I could certainly browse through and see if any of those articles related to my topic, but that might take some time. Um, if I click on any article, it will take me right out to the page where this journal lives. And I can actually keyword search within the journal itself. I can't keyword search in browsing, but I can keyword search in the journal. So if I click on that advanced search, it's asking me to type in the name of the journal I wanna search in. So we were looking at the International Journal of Educational Research, and this is where I can put my um, key terms, okay? So my keywords or phrases. So if I, was looking for scholarly articles published on um, the topic of classroom management. Whoops, that's a little funky. Can't see that, but I think I got it right. That is uh, not a Lindsay issue, that is a vendor issue. <laughs> okay, so for those of you who aren't studying um, education, classroom management is um, strategies that educators, so teachers, faculty members use to keep students engaged so they can keep disruptive behavior at bay, right? So how, what kind of activities do we pedagogically involve our students in so that they're engaged and so they're not distracted, that they're paying attention, they're not looking at their, their cell phone, they're not starting a fight with another student, right? That's classroom management. So I'm looking for articles on that topic and you can see 
these highlights indicate to me that I have some articles showing up here. And again, I'm only searching in this one journal, okay? I'm not doing a search across lots of different journals right now because my faculty member said this would be a good journal for you to look in, okay? So lots of highlights, um, but I noticed that after this article, classroom management stopped showing up in the title of the article. Does that mean that these are irrelevant? Um, probably not. Let's, let's just kind of talk that through quickly. Um, I see a lot of words like behavior and attention span and incidents. So all of those words signify to me um, that these articles are in fact about classroom management, right? How do we keep um, incidents at bay? How do we keep students engaged? And right when I click on an article that didn't have classroom management in the title, I can see right away highlights a newly developed classroom management training program for pre-service teachers. Okay, so good. This is definitely about classroom management. If, if there was nothing in the highlights, I'd want to read the abstract and really see like, okay, is classroom management mentioned in here? Yep. Classroom disruptions are challenging. Okay, this is, this is definitely on target what we're looking for. And taking it even, even further, classroom management shows up under the keywords that are supplied. Okay, so if, if, if I wanted to read this article, I could certainly read it here. I could also download the PDF. Um, and let's go back to my advanced search and see if we could do classroom management. I'm so sorry you can't see that. That says and um, elementary education. So now I'm narrowing my search down a little bit more. while also trying to remember what journal. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's see if anything comes up. Okay, again, so I'm not seeing any highlights, but let's click on this first one, take a little peek. All right, so I definitely see the word behavior, so I know this is in some way likely talking about classroom management. I'm looking now for um, that elementary component. So I'm just gonna do a control find. So, okay, so this is under the methodology, how they carried out the study. Young learners. Okay, so this study was actually um, for, I think, pre-service teachers. So that means um, students studying to be teachers and so they were enrolled in an elementary education course. So you'd have to make um, the decision, is that actually relevant to my, my research? Am I looking at pre-service teachers or am I looking at actual elementary school students, right? And teachers that are teaching in the field at the time. So that's how you kind of use those little tips and tricks to do that. So we just learned how to search by journal title or subject, so again, subject is the discipline. Again, you could scroll down here if you're a business student. This is gonna take you to all of your business journals. Um, here are the sub-disciplines, the subfields, which have even more subfields. <laughs> so take a look through there. And that is basically browsing, so we don't, again, Final highlights, don't type you, your keywords into browsing here, so I wouldn't want to type in classroom management in here. I'd want to wait until I was in the actual journal itself. If you need any help at all um, navigating browsing or searching for any kind of scholarly materials, please feel free to reach out to your librarian.